the other half. Eh? Another one of those. Oh, Tar. Have you got a large one? I've had no complaints so far. <laughs> Seeing's believing. You won't need a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Here we are. No, no, no. Have it on me, if you know what I mean. Oh, you don't have to draw me any diagrams. Pity. She's going to get my ballpoint out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and write your name in the frost with it, I suppose. <laughs> Bottoms up. Is that what it is? You could have fooled me. <coughs> Here we go. Hello, Cora. Harry? Usual, sir. Oh, uh, Vic, would you see to Harry? See to him? I thought he'd been seen two years ago. Well, Harry, how are they hanging? Empty. Soon fix that up, mate. Not for me, Tar. I've just had dinner. I hear you're going on your holiday tomorrow, then? Yeah, yeah, just a weekend, that's all. All right, for some. You taking the missus, too? No, she won't go abroad. Doesn't like flying, do you, love? All the same if I did. Someone has to look after the pub. No, no, it's one of the new package deals. 17 quid all in. Thank you. Where, where are you going to? Oh, some new resort in the Med. Oh, for heaven's sake, Vic, why don't you tell him? It's a place called Ells Bells. <laughs> hey, Ells Bells? The island? Yes. It's tomorrow? Yes. Blimey, there's a coincidence for you. <laughs> what is? Sadie's going there on the same trip. <laughs> Get away. That's right, isn't it, Sadie? You're going to Ells Bells tomorrow. Me? <laughs> Oh, yes. Uh, I thought of going. Why? Well, old Vic's going on the same trip. Really? Well, fancy that. <laughs> Have a good trip. Sure. Get off. Well, that's it. How about a nice cup of tea? You filthy, rotten, stinking beast. What have I done now? Don't you come the innocent with me. You and that Sadie Tompkins. Are you going on the same trip? Oh, well, fancy that. Yeah, fancy that. Well, I don't fancy that at all. What are you talking about? It's the first I've heard of it, straight up. Don't lie to me. You've obviously both arranged it. Arranged it? If I'd known she was going to be there, I'd have cancelled the whole thing. Good. Because that's exactly what you're going to do. Well, as late as this, I'll lose my deposit money. You'll lose a damn sight more if you don't. Oh, have a heart, darling. You know I need this holiday. You wouldn't want me to go without it just because she's going to be there. If she's going to be there, you won't be going without it. What are you suggesting? Go blimey, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. No, but you would with anything else that came to hand. Oh, no wonder you've never minded going on holiday on your own. Now, just a minute, that's not true. You know very well I've always begged you to come with me. All right, then. I will. Flying. Flying. You don't like flying, remember? I don't like washing floors. But I'd still rather do that than you get some other scrubber. I'll see the travel agent first thing in the morning. Yeah. Afternoon, Miss Dobbs. Lovely day for it. That's what they all say, Mr. Farquhar, but it won't get you anywhere. I meant for the Ells Bells trip, Miss Dobbs. Oh. Oh, I say, I'm awfully sorry. That's all right. Any time. Let's leave the sightseeing till we get there, eh? Good afternoon. Lovely day for it. That's what they all say. I bet they do. Oh, did you mean the trip? No, no, actually, what I meant was it was a lovely... Never mind. It's Mr and Mrs Flange, and we're booked on the weekend to Els Bells. If you'd like to take a seat, sir. You're not due to leave just yet. Thank you. Hello. How do you do? You girls going on the weekend to Els Bells, then? Yeah, that's right. Oh, very nice. I'm Vic Flange. That's my wife. Never mind, love. Better luck next time. The coach is here, Mr Farquhar, and some of the party. Oh, well, we may as well get them aboard straight away, then. Of course. Mr Farquhar, I do want you to know how thrilled I am to be with you this trip. I feel we're going to be just wonderful together. Please, Miss Plunkett, you're squashing my itinerary. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I keep forgetting what a big girl I am now. Quiet. Should we get them out now? Why, Mr Farquhar? The people for the coach, I mean. Oh, those. <laughs> yes, of course. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You may board the coach now. Have your tickets ready, please. Coach, but I, I thought we were going by air. We have to go in the coach to get to the airport. But you didn't say anything about coaches. I don't like going in them either. Oh, God, Lana, you're determined to have a good time, aren't you? Ah, Miss Dickie and Miss Mays, thank you. May I wish you both an extremely happy holiday? Oh, thanks. Come on, Marge. That 
That's enough of that. I'm sorry, darling. My arms are aching. Your eyes will be too by the time we're finished. All right, Come all on, right. Stanley. Hurry. Excuse me. Is this the Elsbell's coach? Well, yes, that's right. Oh, good. Excuse me. Well, don't mind us. Right, Miles General. <laughs> Blunt. Mr. and Mrs. Stanley Blunt. Yes, Mrs. Blunt, you have the tickets. Well, naturally. Do we look like stowaways? No, no, not at all. But I have to collect them, you see. Oh, for heaven's sake, Stanley. Yes, sir. Uh, tickets. Uh, tickets, yes. yes. Uh, in my trousers pocket there. Well, produce them. Uh, oh, why are you always so helpless? Uh, 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 keep still. Uh, 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 Mike! The back! Uh, didn't you say so? <laughs> there. Now, come along and stop making such an exhibition of yourself. Ah, good afternoon, sir. Your tickets? Here we are. Thank you, Mr. Flange. That's quite correct. You're travelling with Miss... Uh, no, no. Mrs. Mrs. Flange. Mr. and Mrs. Flange. Oh, there must be some mistake. I got you down as with Miss Tom. No, no, no. That was all changed this morning. Oh, you mean you just got married? Oh, congratulations! No, 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 no. I changed the booking. I was coming on my own to start with, and then she changed her mind. What's the trouble, Vic? Nothing, darling, nothing. You got it? Two tickets, Mr. and Mrs. Flange. If you say so, sir. I do say so. Come on, darling. Have some young ones. Oh, stop worrying, Marge. They told me there was a big party of young blokes coming. I certainly hope so. <laughs> Now, don't forget, Eustace, dear, none of that oily food. And take your syrup figs regularly every night. Yes, Mummy. But do stop worrying. I shall be quite all right. Oh, I do hope so, dear. But I shall be praying to him every night to keep your bowels open. That will not be necessary. It's the least I can do. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, and dear. take care. Yes, dear. Ah, good afternoon, sir. Oh, hello. Have you got a ticket? Yes, I have. Have you? Of course, I'm the courier, sir, in charge of the party. How nice. Ah, Mr. Tuttle, you're travelling alone, I believe. Yes, I am. Mummy has to stay behind to look after the hamster. Oh, really? Yes. Left till over a second, they start mating. Oh, how very interesting. No, it isn't. It's all over in a flat. Oh, I meant to tell you, dear. Keep your woolly vest on, even at night. Yes, Mummy. And goodbye. Oh, and when you do go, always put plenty of paper down first. You will look after him, won't you? We look after everyone on a wonder tour, madam. Yes, but he's not like the rest. I can certainly believe that. He's very delicate and not used to being away from home much. <laughs> Excuse me. What is it? What do you want? You're blocking their passage, madam. Yes, and that would never do, would it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, mummy. Excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you. Hello. How about these two? Quite dishy. Mr. Tweed, Mr. Phipps, would you like to take a seat in the Thank coach? You. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do you mind, please, sitting down? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Hey, son. Hey. Is this for the dusty weekend? This is the four-day trip to Ellsbells, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Same difference, isn't it? <laughs> Have you got a ticket? Certainly. I don't expect to get it for nothing. Not the holiday, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Conway, yes. Would you like to take a seat on the coach? Well, I can't leave it behind, can I? Uh, uh, I'll need it to drive the old point home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All ready for a wild weekend, eh? Oh, well, maybe not. Hello. Oh, well, where's all the crumpet then? I don't think they give us any tea. <laughs> nah, no. Women, birds. Oh, I did notice a couple of young ladies back there. Oh, no, son. That's jail bait. That is. Touch me and I'll tell my dad stuff. That looks a bit more like it. I'll just give her a hand with her bags. I love me. Oh, Tom. Be careful, it's not very well. 
Balsam. <laughs> That's done it. Oh, I'll do it. It took me a long time to get all that in there. <laughs> a bit. Me. <laughs> we can't possibly leave yet. There's a party of 12 men to come. There! What did I tell you? 12 of them! Miss Plunkett's just checking them now. Ah, it's all right. Here they come. Hotel on Islands. <laughs> Entering, please, but minding wet cements. This way. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very loving, no? Yes, yeah, I think about. Oh, you mean lovely? Yes, very nice. It, it's all brand new. Tables not sat in, chairs not sat in, lavatory not... Yeah, we needn't go into that. Is the manager here? Yes, uh, yes, uh, 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 I'll fetch him one moment. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, well, I think we should be very comfortable here. Let's see that. Yeah, it'll be all right when it's finished, I suppose. Well, I'm sure you won't allow a little thing like that to spoil your holiday. Welcoming, ladies and gentlemen, welcomings. I am Monsieur Pepe. But you were the doorman. Me? No, no. That's Mario. My brothers. Oh, yes, I see. Well, I'm the representative of Wonder Tours, Stuart Farquhar. Uh, stupid what? Stuart. Stuart Farquhar. I think he was right the first time. Ah, uh, you, Mr. Farquhar's. Having letters for you. Oh, good. I was beginning to wonder if you were expecting us. Certainly I'm expecting. My wife, she's also expecting. Yes, well, um, and this hotel doesn't seem to be quite finished. Not finished? Oh, it's nothing. A little bit of building to finish. Four or five floors, maybe that's so. Four or five floors? You have got room for us, though. I'm glad you mentioned things. As a matter of fact, things. Oh, oh, excuse me, the uh, chef is not speaking so good English, ain't it yet? Yes, well, perhaps you better show us the rooms you have got. Me? No, no, no. I fetched a porter. Porter! <laughs> uh, this way, please, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just asking us to share a room just because we're married. I, I don't know, dear. I mean, uh, I thought it was quite reasonable in the circumstances. Oh, yes, I noticed you didn't offer any resistance. Any man with half an ounce of gumption would have refused. <laughs> Actually, I thought it might be quite fun. Fun? Fun? Well, after all, it is quite some time since we did it. Um, a shared a room, I mean. Stanley, you're not going to try to use this as an excuse to start that nastiness again. No, dear, of course not, no. I should hope not indeed. You seem to forget I need a bit of peace and quiet. Well, I can assure you, dear, that I need a bit too. Yes, well, we'll just have to try and make the best of it, I suppose. Now, I am going to get undressed and have a nice hot bath. Oh, that's a jolly good idea. Huh? Well? Uh, yes, well, I'll uh, just go out onto the balcony. Keep looking the other way. We got a shower. Oh, well, that's something, I suppose. Oh, open the windows, love, and let's get a breath of fresh air. That's a good idea. What's the matter with a blooming thing? It's stuck. Excusings, please. You liking towels? Yes, please. Uh, excusings. Do you think you can do something about the windows? They won't open. Not openings? No. Holdings, please. One minute, please. It's easy, no? <laughs> Thank you. Just a minute. Please excuse things. You like towels? Stanley! Yes, dear? What is it? Oh, I say. For heaven's sake, Stanley, do something. Yes, dear. Dash it all! This isn't good enough. Can't you see that my wife's undressed? Yes, I see, I see. She's very loving. You're a very lucky man. You think so? Yes, yes. It's a big hip. Just more waist. Boom, boom. <gasps> Stanley, will you get him out of here? <laughs> now, now, look here. Oh, well. <laughs> I feel as though I were in a cattle market. Yes, dear, I see what you mean. What sort of man? What 
does it matter what sort of a man? They're all the same, aren't they? Oh, yes. Well, I'm just going to see what I say. I'm awfully sorry. <laughs> I'm not worried, dear. It's only Mr. Tuttle. Well, what is he doing in our bathroom? Your bathroom? But it leads off my room. I think I'm going to go mad. Well, uh, hang on, please, before you go anywhere. I think I'd better go and check. <laughs> Receptions? Ah, yes. Uh, my wife has a complaint. You want in doctors? No, 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 not that sort of complaint. You see, she's just been to the bathroom and there's a man in it. Ah, oh, it's all right, it's all right. We're not making extra chargings for this. You don't seem to understand. This is meant to be a private bathroom, no? It's right. It's private between two rooms, no? But then that's hardly private, is it? Oh, for heaven's sake, Stanley, give me that phone. Hello. I wish to make a strong complaint. I've never had a trip like that in all my life. And with such fearsome people. Have you ever seen anything like them? I swear they're all odd. Isn't that typical? Right. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Oh, lay off it, Rob. We're only here for four days. No, look, I've had enough. I am taking no more of this. Hello. Excuse me, please. Receptions. I have a complaint to make. Complaint? Uh, one minute, please. I hand you over to room servicings. Hello, madams, about the bus. I'm handing you over to room servicings. Oh, for heaven's sake. Hello, hello. Ah, room service. And about time. Now listen, my drawers have got no bottoms in them. What? Who's that? I want room service. Well, so do I. Get off the line. Room service? Ah, it's about our bathroom. Uh, one minute, please. I'm giving you room servicing. Hello? Hello? I've just found there's no back to my wardrobe. What? What? Who is that? Is that, is that room service? Room service? I wish to report a man in my bath. Oh, go away. Go away! Um, mind if I shower first? Oh, please, go ahead. I'm going to wash my hair. Thanks. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, if I'd known you were in here, I wouldn't have come, would I? Yes, all right, all right. Just get out of here quick before somebody comes in. You haven't got any soap on that bit. Get out of here! You see, I thought this was our private bathroom. I didn't realise there was a door there and another door... What do you think of that? I've never been so shocked and humiliated in my life. Where's the phone? seems happy enough now, oh, I'm glad to say. But there is one matter I would like to take up with you, Monsieur Pepe. No, it, no, 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 it's not Monsieur Pepe. No. I'll get him a new telephone. For me? Yes, it's room servicing. Oh, oh I see. Uh, yes. <clears throat> uh, hello, room service. There is a man in my bath. With no bottom. And nothing on the other side. And as I bent over, she was standing there, stalkers. And when I pressed the thing and tried to plug it in, sand shot out of it. And soaked me from head to foot. And now it won't work at all. Just, just one moment, please. <laughs> the 
lovely night anyway. Isn't it funny how everything looks better in the moonlight? It's a pity we didn't have it in our bathroom earlier on, then. Oh, blimey, don't keep on about it. How was I to know we shared a bathroom with her? You need not have struck up a conversation with her. A gentleman would have left immediately. I was very embarrassed, straight up. I didn't know which way to look. You mean at which one? Yeah. Oh, now, this is ridiculous. I bet you're always the same when you go abroad. You become an animal. Right. Well, there's only one way to deal with that, then. And where are you going? To get myself doctored. <coughs> oh. yoo -hoo. Hello, girl. Hello, Mr. Tuttle. I say, how about another little game before dinner, eh? No, thanks, Mr. Tuttle. Come along, Marge. Oh, hey, I'll get you. I think I'll get a breath of fresh air before supper, Brother Martin. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. You having one? Yes, sir. I'll have a beer. What's it like? Oh, to tell you the truth, I can't even make up my mind whether it's gnats or cats. You're making me homesick. <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Tuttle, no more. You're too old for it. Oh, come on. You do enjoy it. I don't. Oh, just once more. Bend over, dear. All right, then. But this is the last time. Here I come! Ooh, oh. <laughs> oh, please let me help you. Oh, thank you. I can manage. Oh, all right. I'd like to apologise for that wardrobe business. Don't bother. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Oh, yes. I mean... Oh! Oh, oh. Will you let go of me? <laughs> oh. Your skirt! Your skirt! It... Oh. oh, it wasn't his fault. It was an accident. I see to him. Poor girls. I think I'll go and give them a hand. I'm sure they can manage quite well enough without your help. Jenkins, get the load of that then. That's the best bet of the lot, son. How do you know? Huh. I got the old green light, didn't I? You did? Begging for it. <laughs> pity. Pity? What do you mean, pity? Makes it a bit awkward when you know what happened to her husband. What did that do? Rat poison? You talking that? I don't you believe her? Oh, yes, yes, sure, sure. I was just thinking of her first husband. Nasty business. Why, what happened to him? The next. Next morning, they found him dead in the swimming pool. Hey, George, give us a lad's whiskey. <laughs> a good evening, a good evening, everybody. And what a lovely one it is. There he is now. Go on, tell him. Have a, yes. <clears throat> See. Uh, Mr. Farquhar, uh, my wife, well, that is we, uh, well, the fact is, you see, we're not altogether happy about the, uh, well, uh, that is, um... Oh, for heaven's sake, Stanley. What my husband is trying to say is that we think that this is the most appalling hotel in which we have ever stayed. Here, here. Oh, no, don't be like that. After all, we're the first guests they've ever had. They're bound to have teething troubles. they got more teething troubles than a crocodile with pyrrhea. I am confident that things will get better. And they need to, if I'm going to get a shower every time I take a leak. No, no, I think we'll all feel a lot better when we've had a good dinner. <laughs> I can't do with the flooding thing. If we are going to get any dinner. Oh. Ah! Why do we have to have a cock stuff? <laughs> oh, why can't we have electricity? Santa Cecilia, how many more times? Because... Cock is more dependable since the electricity is. But it don't burn, look! Mama, Mama! All it's needing is methylating spirits. Oh, wait, what? Mama, watch it. So, cock! Cock! Ah! Uh, excuse me. 
excuse me, Monsieur Pepe, we were wondering about dinner. Ah, they're all yes. waiting. I, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Farkey House. It's late, I know, but we are having troubles with the stove. Ah. It's all cock, you see. Yeah, I beg your pardon? Yes, and with no winds, a cock is not burning so Oh, you mean coke, coke stove. Yes, it's right, cock oh. stove, yes. But not to worry, it's all right now. No. Soon you have first class and number nine dinners. Number nine? Oh, good. With free wines for everyone? Excellent, I'll tell them. Good. Shut you up. Ah. Putting one bottle on each table with the compliments of the mismanagement. Yes, Papa. Mama, Mama, hurry with the soups! You'd all like to take your places. You'll find the seats clearly marked. It's all right. That's tweet. Yes, I'm tweet. Ah. Yeah. 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 Ah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> well, it seems as though we're sitting with you. Yeah, well, that's the luck of the draw. I haven't been introduced. Uh, my name is Blunt. Stanley Blunt. This is the wife, Evelyn. Delighted to meet you. Vic? Vic. What? How about an introduction? What are you talking about? You know me. To Mr. and Mrs. Blunt. Who are they? Oh! <laughs> How do you do? I'm Vic. Vic Flange. This is the wife. Don't laugh. <laughs> oh, I'm with you. Well, that's nice. I expect it's because we're the only ones on our own. Oh, well, I'm not my own. I'm with Tuttle. Oh, I see. Uh, no, he's supposed to sit here with us. Oh, well, there is safety in numbers. I hope so. Vino. Ah, excellent. The wine. Spanish type, Australian, French, Burgundy, produce of Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. oh, clumsy. A beautiful wine for a beautiful lady. Well, is that supposed to be a compliment? You better taste the wine first. <laughs> better watch it, you'll be pinching your bottom next. Not for me, thank you. No, don't drink. No, I tried it once and didn't like it. Oh. Have a smoke? I tried it once and didn't like it. Strange. Not at all, my daughter is just the same. Your only child, I presume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just in the nick of. <laughs> Hello. Hot zoops. It's good. Better get in quick before it evaporates. For what we are about to receive, O oh Lord, make us truly thankful. I don't think he could have heard you. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Soups. Soup? Ah, what you're calling brown bristles. No, Windsor. Brown Windsor. Yes, yes. It's good, no? No, we expect it from foreign food. Foreign? That's foreign. You're not thinking wheatings is rubbish? Oh, 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 oh rubbish. Well, I certainly hope you show a little more imagination with the main dish. Ah, that is specialities of the house. Ah. Sausage, beans and chippings. Uh, is that all? All is plenty. But isn't there a choice? Choice? Of course you're having choices. You can have sausage and chippings, sausage and bins, or bins and chippings. That's choices. Choices, yeah? No, not again. Mama, Mama, why are you not using methylatings like I'm telling you? Is no good. Is good. Standing back. Look back. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? This is not methylating the divinos! Blooding fools! Please excuse me, there's slight technical hitching. Oh, for heaven's sake, let's open some windows! Oh, I've been hit! Oh! 
he goes. Oh. Millions of them. Oh. anyone washing before. Monsieur Pepe, I want a word with you. Mr. Farky House, if it's for complimenting on breakfast, it was nothings. Oh, you're so right, it was nothings. <laughs> no, it's about all this building noise. Uh, it's, it's all right, Mr. Farky House. Work is now stopped till Monday morning. Oh, well, that's one <laughs> blessing. I understand it, sir. You like a piece? Mm. No, not just at the moment, thank you. Peace and quiet, no noises. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> ah. Welcome, sir. Mm. Thank you. You two on your own here? Yeah. Yes? What about it? You like to meet nice girls, else bells, eh? Yeah, great. Certainly not. What kind of a person do you think I am anyway? I have never had such a night. I am absolutely covered with bites. What have you been up to, you old devil? Mosquito bites, look. Trouble with mosquitoes, no taste. I mean, they don't care whom they bite. Well, one thing's certain, they're eating better than we are. <sighs> I think I'm going up to change now. And in the meantime, Stanley, I do wish you'd do something about our room. I was cold in the night and there was no hot water. The toilet doesn't flush. That coffee is cold. Oh, and that sun is too hot. Apart from that, she's having a wonderful time. Yes, well, I think I'll just go up and grab a bit of fun. Uh, sun. Bring my sun cream when you come. All right, love. 
Do you know, Mrs. Lange, you're an extremely handsome woman. Really? I might even go so far as to say, desirable. Fancy. Uh, another roll? Do you believe in free love? I prefer bacon and eggs. Uh, to rolls, I mean. You're not answering my question, Mrs. Flem. Not so fattening. <laughs> Do you believe in free love? Well, I'm certainly not paying for it. <laughs> 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 Mr. Blunt, I'm sure your wife wouldn't like that. That's just it. She doesn't. Yes, well, I uh, think I'll go to my room. Good idea. Five minutes? Uh, yes. Uh, no, no, I'll... I'll see you down here later. Here. I've just come to have a little talk with you, that's all. Well, I don't want to waste time talking to you. Well, that's good, because I've only got a couple of minutes. Oh, no, you don't. What's the matter? I've got a bone to pick with you, Vic Flange. Fine, I could do with a nibble. I had a chat this morning with Bert Conway. What about it? And he said that you told him I drowned my first husband in a swimming pool. So what? You told him you poisoned your second one, didn't you? Well, that was before I knew he was the only available man on this trip. Oh, have I said it? wasn't my fault my wife decided to come, was it? Well, I didn't invite her, did I? What'd you tell Conway? The truth. You know perfectly well what my husbands were. Yes, they were both firemen. That's right. And both of them died on the job. Oh, Sadie, just a minute, Vic, Sadie. you're in the bathroom. Oh, oh God, bloody, get back inside, quick. Oh. I, uh, mm -hmm. I, I think you dropped something. Oh. I, uh... Good thing I happened to come along because uh, she might not have noticed. Uh, Cora, Cora, just a minute. Oh. I say that's rather interesting, you know, Brother Bernard. There are directions here for finding the tomb of St. Cecilia, the founder of our order. Oh, that's nice. Yes, isn't it? It is believed to lie in the middle of the island, about five miles north of the port of Elspells. You know, if we follow them, I think we might get somewhere. Do you think we should? Oh, well, that is uh, what we came for, isn't it? Is it? I thought we were going to find the tomb of St. Cecilia. That is what I am talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, Brother Martin. I was thinking of something else. If we made an early start, you know, perhaps we could get to the village in good time and uh, have lunch there. You fancy that, Brother Bernard? Not half. Good, well, let's get started, then. What? what? Are we going? Well, of course we're going. I've just said so. Oh, well, I just finished my coffee. All right, we'll all meet in front of the hotel in ten minutes' time. Hello. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Come along, Nicholas. <clears throat> you promised to help me do my hair. Ah, uh, push off. I see. I'd just like to apologise to your friend about her skirt last night. Oh, forget it. Shh. Why don't you get some clothes off and get some sun? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Are you really a clergyman? No, I'm a brother. Oh. oh, you mean a monk? Well, not exactly. It's an order. We do missionary work. Oh, saving fallen women and all that, you mean? Well, that's part of it, I suppose, yes. How many have you saved? None. I've only just joined. Oh, well, if you're having to start on Lily and me, you're too late. Well, I know that. What I mean is, I'm sure you're both capable of taking care of yourselves. I haven't got much option on this holiday. Would you do my back for me? What? Oh, yes, of course. All that smashing. <laughs> I have my chair over there. Oh. Oh, 
Bert, you must tell me about your hobby. I just adore old prints. Really? Mm. I've got a couple of beauties. Yes, and not just that. <laughs> so see. There we are. Oh, how's that, dear? No. Too much in the sun. Oh, sure, yeah. Thank you. Here we are. Right. <clears throat> right, is that all right now, dear? Too much in the shade. Ask me if I'd like a chair. I wasn't going to. Oh, Cora, come here. Don't be stupid. <laughs> Morning, everybody. <laughs> Hang on. Wait a minute. Let me give you a hand with oh, it. Oh, I can manage. Thank you. Uh, may I help you, Mrs. Land? Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Blunt. Thank you. Enjoy the sunshine. That's something you can't muck up. Ah, well, Wonder Tours especially chose Els Bells for the perfect holiday weekend because of its wonderful sunshine record. Oh! 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 I thought we couldn't find the wretched tomb. Perhaps it got buried or something. Well, of course it got buried, you fool. It's an underground tomb. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. If we don't have to spend half the day looking for a toilet for you. Well, I couldn't help that. After all, I'm only human. Sometimes I doubt that very much. Here, that was underground. Do you suppose that it could have... Well, it was just a thought. Still raining, I'm afraid. Oh, I loathe excursions. Traipsing around filthy foreign markets, sitting around sordid nightclubs. Yes, well, I mean, uh, you don't have to go if you don't want to, do you? Huh? <laughs> uh, oh, I should be quite all right on my own. Well, what else is there to do? Sit around here all night doing crosswords? Yes, well, it's uh, getting on for seven o'clock, dear. Oughtn't you to be, uh, you know... I am waiting for you to go so that I can get dressed. Oh, yes, Hello. I don't know why you keep encouraging that big nit. Oh, he's nice. I knew it was a mistake coming on holiday with you. Anything in trousers. Look who's talking. Anyway, it's not wearing trousers. Do you mind if I sit next to you? Oh. Not at all, Mr. Blunt. I feel you're the only person I've really got anything in common with on this trip. Well, thank you very much. It's very nice of you to say so, Mrs. Flynn. <laughs> Good. Now I've heard everything. Well, thank goodness it stopped raining anyway. Right, everyone here, Miss Blunkett? Yes, I think so. What about your wife, Mr. Blunt? Oh, that's all right. She's not coming. She, um, she has a headache. Makes a change from a pain in the neck. Wait for me! 
Wait for me! All right, driver, off we go. Have they gone? Yes. Oh, I'm a sorry lady. Oh, how dare they? Where is Monsieur Pepe? Not here. They've gone out for the evening. What am I going to do? How could Stanley do this to me? How could he? Uh, just a minute, lady, please. You like? Champagne? Yeah. Make you feel very good, very happy. Oh, no, I never. Yes. All right, I will. Thank you, Giorgio. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, mister. You like postcards? Very interesting. Oh, yes. Uh, Miss Plunkett, didn't you want a postcard to send to your mother? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Any good? Uh, no, I'm afraid they're quite unsuitable. Oh, the naughty ones. Do let me see. Certainly not. You filthy beast. Be off with you before I call the police. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Plunkett. I should have known better. What can you do with a man like that? Nothing I can think of. But I know what you can do with a man like me. Mr. Schlange, may I remind you, you have your wife here. Yep, that's what you can do with a man like me. <laughs> oh, Bert, you mustn't. It's much too expensive. Nonsense. Here, let me put it on for you. You've got to have the matching bracelet, too. Oh, no, I mustn't. Oh, come on. Let me put it on for you. All right. It's beautiful. <laughs> you know, I could buy everything here. <gasps> oh, look at this lovely lace set. Oh, very nice. <laughs> here, let me put No, it... thanks. You've bought me quite enough. I wonder what this is. Eh? Santa Cecilia's elixir. Oh, some kind of local quack medicine, I suppose. Oh, no, no, sir. It's no medicine. It's for a l'amour. Pardon? Look, you're for making a plenty of passion. You know what? You try, sir. It's good. Drinky, drinky. Well, anything happened? <laughs> outside. Hmm? Oh, I, uh, I expect that's the local fire station. Well, there are girls in there. Hmm? Oh, I expect they're the fire bells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stanley, you're so witty. <laughs> oh, look. Hello. Hello. Come in, come have some fun. Come on, boys, come in. That was a delicious meal, Giorgio. Perfect. And for a perfectly delicious lady. <laughs> Do you know, I'm glad I missed that horrid bus now. I too am glad. Uh, may I please? Oh, well, it's been some time since I... Yes, please. Enjoying themselves, eh? No. Oh, well, how about you? No. Well, never mind. We'll be off to the nightclub in a few minutes. Where's my wife? 
What have you done with her? Me, Mr. Flange? I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea. Don't give me that. She was that twit blunt, didn't she? Isn't she? I, I really don't know, Mr. Flange. <laughs> oh, there's Miss Plunkett. Perhaps she'll know. Miss Plunkett! Coming, Mr. Farquhar. Uh, let's see, how many more are we to come? I'm not living without my wife. Where is she? It's all right, Mr. Flange, all right. Fire and water, fire and water. You insult them, I fire the ladies. We were only playing leapfrog. Porco, pig! Oh, that settles it. Shut up! Oh, no, Mr. Tuttle, they'll kill him. Oh, we'd better get in there, quick. Best idea I've heard today. Follow me, oh. hang on, wait for me. Hey. Mr. Tuttle's in there. What is it? What's going on? Oh, Mrs. Flange, your husband, he's in there. What? He's with Mr. Conway and Mr. Tuttle. Oh, well, he's coming right out of there. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, no. Uh, yes, please, please, let me handle this. I've had some experience with this kind of thing. It doesn't do to antagonize these fellows. Uh, now then, to start off with, I feel I should point out that we are all British subjects. Oh, I know, and you have my deepest sympathy. Y yes, quite. Well, I don't want to make an international incident out of this, of course. Oh, well, that is most kind of you, sir. But I must protest most strongly about being detained in this way. Oh, naturally, sir. I realize you were only doing what you thought to be your duty, and provided you release us immediately, I think I can safely promise you, you will hear no more about it. Oh, that is a most kind gesture, sir. I think we can safely make it. And now I will show you that I, too, can make an appropriate gesture. Yes? <gasps> Damned filth. How dare you? Do you know what you just did? Well, that is a fine old British gesture, no? You've tried my patience too far. I know about you people give me a uniform and they, they go power mad. Well, I'm not going to bandy words with an idiotic, jumped up popinjay like you anymore. I demand to see the chief of police. I am the chief of police. Oh, Don't, son, you're doing well. Hang on, hang on. Let me have a go. Chiefy. We know we're in the spot of bothery, but all things can be arranged, can't they, between friends? Oh, indeed, sir. Then, then you just tell us exactly what we're charged with, and we'll sort something out, right? With pleasure, sir. You are charged with disturbing the peace, damage to property, and most important of all, assault upon the girls of Madame Fifi, thus resulting in a most serious loss of business. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know very well they assaulted us. Oh, indeed, sir. Well, surely you don't doubt our word against the word of a cheating old boiler that runs the local bro uh, broken-down boarding house, do you? 
Madame Fifi is my sister. Pass. Next, please. Let me have a go. Oh, don't be ridiculous. What on earth can you do? Well, at least I can be a little cooperative. Excuse me, I wonder if I might have a word with you. Uh, but of course. Please go ahead. It's rather personal. Is there somewhere a little more private we could go? <laughs> with pleasure. This way, please. She's been gone for three hours. Well, what are you worried about? What could they do to her? Oh, you don't know these foreign police. I knew a girl once. They got her in there and shaved all her hair off. Well, I'm sure she's not having it off. Where am I? With the compliments of the chief of police. <laughs> hey, Ken, what a feast. Yeah, it doesn't look as though we're going to get out, though. With grub like this, who wants to? Miss Blanket, are you all right? Why, yes, I think so, Mr. Farquhar. You swine! What have you been doing to her? Don't tell him. Do not worry, Mr. Farquhar. I wish to tell you that you are free to go. Well, and who dare threaten me, I'll just... Free to... Oh. If you are prepared to pay for the damages, then I am... I am not going to bring any charges. Just when I was enjoying myself. <laughs> Coming back, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight I'm making for you great ravings up for cheerings up and raising the loose spirits. <laughs> no? Um, have you seen my wife anywhere? No sense. Uh, Jojo, you seeing Mrs. Blanche? Not since this morning, Papa. Well, is our room key there? Oh. No, sir. It's gone. Jojo, did you give it to her? Not half, Papa. <laughs> Licora Paula Mora. <laughs> Let's have a go. Stanley. All right, all right. I'll do all that talking. It was all my fault. I told them to leave without you last night, and what's more, I'm damn glad that I did it. Oh, so am I, dear. Have some champagne. I don't care about champagne. It's wonderful stuff, Stanley. What are you talking about? Didn't you hear what I just said? It was all my fault that you were left behind last night. All right, dear. I forgive you. I don't want to be forgiven. Then what do you want, dear? I want to bloody well assert my manhood. Oh, splendid, Stanley. All right, then. What is it, dear? I've forgotten what you do. I'm furious, absolutely beside myself. Yeah, best place for you. Look, I'm warning you, Nicholas. If you take that little strumpet to the party, I shall... I shall take my ankle bracelet back. Besides, you've never worn it. Oh, come on, we'll have some fun. Look, for the last time, Bert Conway, will you please get out of my room? For goodness sake, what's wrong with you? Why won't you come to the party with me? Because you only want one thing from me. That's not true. I'm quite happy to have the lot. Don't you understand? I don't want just a quick roll in the hay. I need something that's going to last. Who says it's not going to last? Jings, we don't go home till tomorrow afternoon. Get out! Get out! Not me! I believe my ears. 
You actually see nothing wrong or sinful in taking this girl to the party? Well, I don't know if it's going to be wrong and sinful until I try, do I? Isn't it enough that you've already got into a fight over her? You spent the night in prison with her? Oh, no, I want far more than that. What? I mean, I... I like her well enough to... get married. Brother Bernard, aren't you forgetting? You are promised to our order. You are going to be wedded to St Cecilia. Yes, but from what I saw of her in the tomb, I don't think she's going to make a very good wife. night, champagne punches. No, he's the Richard Barton of Ed's Bells. Please, Floella Mammoth, I only trying to send them home my bills. We wanting them to remember this holiday. Oh, they remember it all right. <laughs> See all the only hotel with a night in prison thrown in. It's not my fault. Getting on with the work and shutting cakes off. Good evening. Hello. Well, well, the fun's really started, eh? Oh, oh this is so splendid, isn't it? Oh, I must say, Monsieur Pepe has really surpassed himself with this buffet. Yeah, could be none of it's eatable. Oh, come, come. Really quite good. <clears throat> Moira, dear, a lot depends on the report they give when they get back. For goodness sake, do something to brighten it up. Whoopee! Ooh, food. I could do with some after all that romping about. Vic, darling, I think I'd like a roll. Great. Let's go upstairs. I mean a sausage roll. Oh. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, champagne punchings! Oh, -ho! helping selves? Uh, oh, well, thank you, Monsieur Pepe. What a splendid idea. Oh, uh, I'll get them. You finish your sandwich. Oh. Personally, I've always found Scotland a very exciting place. The, the swirl of the kilt, sparrow, everything. <laughs> Like to try the punch left? Oh, might as well, I suppose. That's my girl. Is it any good? I bleed and hope so, mate. Nice to see so much more of you, Mrs. Tonkins. May I call you Sadie? Mm -hmm. uh, would you care for a glass of punch? Oh, I'd love some. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, good evening, gentlemen. Please, having good times and letting hairs down. <laughs> Maybe a little champagne punchings, yes? Could be, Brother Martin. Uh, as is our last night. Oh, well, perhaps it won't do any harm. <laughs> but only one mind. Thank you. At least it might help to wash down that wretched food. Get stuffings. Sorry, I'm late, love. It's all right. Manage herself. Thank you, Brother Thorne.
Come and enjoy the party. Enjoying it? It's going like a bums! I want you to know, Peppy, this is without doubt the crummiest hotel I've ever stayed. <laughs> Her now. She sounds pretty distressed. She probably tried some of her own cooking. It's looking like a big. Ah! All right, all right, she's coming. <laughs> tried her own. She tried her own cooking. <laughs> we'll try that again. Mistakes to build on dry riverbeds. No wonder company is getting land so cheap. Don't just stand there. Do some things. What can I do? In? Plug it. Oh, plug it. Oh, I say, I say, what's the language? I make like a little boy in Holland. I stick in singing. Oh, the lovely last thing. <laughs> That's it! That's it! <laughs> I'm sure the little Dutch boy didn't do it like that. <laughs> oh, hi! Oh, <laughs> oh, you're you're wetting your trousers! Oh. Wouldn't you in the same situation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Stuart, we're missing all the fun! Oh, yes, excuse us, Monsieur Pepe. I'm sure we're going to allow you to keep your end up. <laughs> <laughs> on a good ship, Venus. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know the music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely hostess. A drink for our hostess. I don't want a drink, thank you. Nonsense. Must have a drink. Everybody must have a drink with Floella. Yeah. 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 for a breath of fresh air. Oh, that's a good idea. Ah, oh, come on. Stop it, the music! Stop it, the music! Helpings, not dancing! Helpings! Please help me, someone! What? George! George, your help! George, your help! Oh the water's getting underneath the foundation! Please! 
We were talking. Well, sorry. Now, where was I? About your hamsters, sir. Oh, yes, hamsters. No, hamsters. You would never believe it, but 11 times in one night. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yes, it is. But you see, they're always escaping. I say, if I were to tell you. Yes, Mr. Connors, I'm worried about the foundations. Oh, well, that's all right, son. She's no wearing any. No, no, in case they're falling out. Ah, don't you worry, son. If they do, I'll stuff them back in. There's nobody listening. So help to... <sighs> Mr. Blanks, you look like a man who is ready to do some things. Well, it's funny you should say that, Peepy. I was just telling the wife. <laughs> oh, Stanley, he's trying to get me upstairs again, Mr. Pepe. No, 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 I show you. On the kitchen floor. I say, steady on, old chap. Remember, we're British. I don't know, though. <laughs> wow. Ready? Oh, oh! There's no... Please, Mr. Flunks, you coming with me? Where to? We are having a leak. And then one, one. No, we are having one down below. I show it to you. He doesn't want to see it. Or mad, crazy. Flunks. I always knew he was a flesh type. Oh, Mr. Fucking Hart. Oh, Monsieur Pepe. Yes. Enjoying yourself. Uh. Oh, yes, I'm having a smashing time. I'm having a ball. Oh, I'm not doing so badly myself. Mr. Fucking oh. I think you should be going up the stairs. Don't be disgusting. Oh, I think it's a wonderful idea. Oh, I'm not standing anymore. All you English are ever thinking about is sex. Oh, nonsense. What's that? Shootings. Oh, trouble with these corridors. So damned excitable. <laughs> The mad. Well, how about it? Shall oh. we go upstairs? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Help! You're mad! Oh, good night, old boy. Good night. Goodbyes. He's drunk again. Well now, Monsieur Pepe, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, Mr. Douglas, thank you very much. Thank you. Help! How about it, love? Want a nightcap? No, thanks. I couldn't take another drop. Right, let's go upstairs. Do you need any help? Help? Why should I need help? I'm having fun! <laughs> I see, Stanley. There's a hole. So there is. That's bad, isn't it? No, no, not to worry. It's mice. We're having very big mice here. I think we'd better go to bed. That's a rather good idea. Monsieur Pepe, I may have to complain about this. They didn't tell us that you had mice. They're all right, you're complaining about the mice, and the whole hotel is falling down. Can we go up now, Bert? It's been a lovely evening. Might as well. Things seem to be breaking up anyway. Let's get a bit of air. Right, a good idea. I'll be long. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I put a bloody sword in. <laughs>
much going on out there? to repel borders. <laughs> Smashing time, didn't we, love? <laughs> yes, I can honestly say I've never had one quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what, what, what's the joke then? Private. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> private. Cheers. 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 Could I have another one, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. Hello, 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 Hello. Of course he is. I promise you I'll look after him. Stu! Somebody just here. Oh, you! Moira! Oh, right. Well, what's it to be, then? I'll tell you what. Champagne cup. Right. And put a drop of this in it, will you? Oh, what a wonderful idea. Oh, no. Lock all the doors. Time, gentlemen, please. Oh. <laughs> 